Hi, welcome to another video with Lori Krause and Stamping in Deerland. Today I'd like to show you this uh, great little kind of coastal beachy happy birthday card. I've got lots of birthday cards to mail out this month. I generally mail out about 40 or 50 of those every month for my birthday club. Um, I saw this card, a similar card I should say, on Pinterest and fell in love with it. So I thought I'd recreate it, change it a little bit, and uh, make several myself. Now, I've been playing around, and I decided to do mine with whis or with uh, very vanilla instead of um, watercolor paper. Watercolor paper gave me some texture. Um, it actually gave me a look that I liked, but I just wanted to change it up a little bit. So here's one I did with the watercolor paper. It's not mounted or anything. And then here's one that I got really puddly and really messy, and um, I like it too. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna um, throw it away, but um, it's um, gonna go on a card and get mailed out too, because I definitely like the abstractness of the card. So um, I'm gonna start out with I have a piece of Lost Lagoon. And that is eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter, and of course um, folded in half. That'll go in my puddle of stuff. And then I have a piece of cameo coral that is cut um, about a quarter of an inch down, so it'd be five and a quarter by four, and that has dimensionals on the back. And then I just have a piece of very vanilla, which is cut to five by three and three quarters. And this is what I'm going to do my stamping on. I have sprayed my Very Vanilla with um, a spritzer, just filled with water, um, and let that soak in a little bit. Um, I didn't get it too awfully wet, but I got it wet enough that um, I'd be able to puddle some ink and, and kind of swish it on there. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to squish your ink pad right in the middle, squish, 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 and get a bunch of the ink into the lid of the ink pad. And then you're going to take your aqua painter, and if you've never used one of these, they're a lot of fun, um, but you've got to get your water um, on your aqua painter, and you've got to get some color in there so that you've got this nice dreamy look to your card. Now how do you clean it after you've uh, got cameo coral all over that? You just take and you squeeze some water through that until it's clear and then you're good to go with your next color. So I'm going to go ahead and use some Lost Lagoon and do the same thing and kind of do that right in here and I've created a background. Now, I'm also going to add a little bit of baked brown sugar just because I like that for some contrast. So, there's my background. Now, a little bit of stamping, and we'll just about be done with this card. So, I've taken my sea sponge and I've stamped that. And now I'm going to take some little words that come in that stamp set, and I'm just going to I did stamp that off, by the way, and uh, stamped that a couple times on there. I'm going to let that dry. That's not quite as pastel as my first card, but I like it just as well. I stamped Happy Birthday on there. And then what I've done is I've made some pearls with my blendabilities. Um, I just chose some colors and some sizes of pearls. I used Daffodil, Cameo Coral, Melon Mambo, and the blush from the Skin Tone Selections. And that gave me pearls that I could use on my card to decorate. So, once again, quick project, easy to do, something fun, a little bit artsy, a little bit technique-y, and a little bit out of the box. Thanks for stopping by Deerland. Hope to see you soon. Bye!